how many of you love to buy shoes and how many of you like to buy many shoes and how many of you like Nike and how many of you like Adidas? Did you know that women buy more shoes than men? And did you know that women buy more clothes than men? Well, now you know. <laughs> so welcome to World Class Discussions. As a youngster uh, out in Pakistan, one of my prominent uh, memories is buying quali quality shoes. And currently I'm in a, a store founded by a gentleman called, I think, Thomas Bardar in somewhere in Zin in Czechoslovakia many 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 years ago they now have they've now expanded to over 70 countries and you will find the stores and these particular stores on all the shapes and all the sizes of all the different shoes and what you might find is it's surprisingly butter and extremely surprised at the minute because I've come in after my feet have been burning <laughs> and the tail's not working <laughs> at this place well trust me to find something like this but as you'll see around the stores it's very sparkly and let's have a closer look there you go you can buy some for 14.99 1500 rupees which is more or less a fiver and you will find masses of variety and there you go you've got somebody very famous who have no idea who he is and he's telling you to buy sneakers look sneakers of every kind Oh, I've burnt my feet, so I need to go on back and find something more comfortable. So like usual, I keep getting disturbed, so look at these. And there you go, just to prove the fact, okay, they've been around since 1894. And this particular store is in the PAC in Kamara. So we've just bought some of these, so hopefully we'll have no more foot burning. And how many of you like nighttime journeys? Because we are off to Islamabad. And my cousin's come to pick me up in his little white carry Suzuki thing. And here they are. He's ringing 999. Well, he's ringing 999 as well. So you've no chance. His nighttime crazy fun is this. They're undertaking and they're overtaking. I saw they're going around here. So they're going around here. Police motorcycle. Motorcycle. One of the police nasty. You're going to play a toy, are they? Here they are again. There's five people on a motorbike. As we go past the Axel Mall. And at this point, if you turn left, you'll end up on the Grand Trunk Road going towards Khaybar Pohtun Khwa. And we are currently turning our right and in front of us it looks like we have a huge hall. Banqueting hall. And very pretty it looks at night as well. And this is a Rawalpindi road which takes us sort of in the uh, direction of Kamra on the left hand side. Ikra College. And the Ikra Cadet College here on the left hand side on the way to Islamabad this is the Haro Toll Plaza a very famous little point where you have to pay your fees for joining the other part of the road and this is known as the N5 part of the Grand Trunk Road as we follow some strokes some strokes I can't even say as we follow some Beautifully coloured trucks with all its designs and what does it say? I can't see it. it says Mahmood Brothers and Sajid Brothers as we whiz past it. And it's time for a little break as we're coming to the floor filling station. And one of the most beautiful things about travelling in Pakistan is is this the masjid where you can pray in so many different places and fulfill your religious duties so for those of you that are not aware Muslims pray five times a day they give two and a half percent of their wealth towards charity fast for the month of Ramadan and travel to Hajj for pilgrimage to Mecca once in a lifetime and they testify in the kalima la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah which means there's no god but allah and muhammad is the prophet of allah so here's the area for ablution and mashallah look the guy's cleaning away 
and here's the entry point to the masjid and is that beautiful solitude peace and special blessing known as sakina inside the masjid so generally speaking look islam it's all about social justice upholding moral values looking up after one another integrity honesty trust reaching out uh, to help the poor reaching out to help the na neighbor peace and harmony and so many more things too if you want further information then speak to okay a, a scholar in your in your local area in your masjid or if you want to be in touch with someone let me know and i'll put you in touch with someone but let's carry on with today's journey so look being a foreigner in Pakistan and traveling in, in Pakistan just make sure that you plan your journey and you let someone know where you're traveling to attempt to travel during the day if possible but if you're going to travel at night make sure your journey is well planned and you're generally driving on lit roads and you're going in areas that you're fairly familiar with and 100% ensure where you can that you have someone with you that is relatively local because for me and you and our behavior is very very different and every behavior has a positive intention for the person who is carrying out the behavior so our intention is to get to Islamabad however there's a few naughty people that do a few naughty things all over the world as well and we want to remain relatively safe so traveling in Pakistan or generally not traveling in Pakistan one of the things that people love to do is eat and we've ended up at a new Miyagi hotel it looks like we're it looks like just a <laughs> it looks like we're ending up in a forest or Marcus is Angalle but apparently we've arrived at a hotel let's go and see it looks like we're ending up in the jungle if we just look around the corner oh look at that oh look and we have lights on the wall oh look at that isn't that pretty seating under the tree and this place is called the Miyaji Hotel and respecting traditional customs in Pakistan the families and the ladies sit at this side and the men are sat on the other side of the green tarpaulin and there we go as the customers come in so look you can see the left hand side and the right hand side amazing and as guys order the food look we have a very yellow look to the Miyaji Hotel on the Grand Trunk Road and we are in Burhan the new Miyaji so here's the menu we have beef on the left hand side and chicken on the right hand side so Pakistan is known for its cuisines and its regions as somebody comes on the other side of the phone and is bringing food so it's known for its diverse range of food beautiful foods and muslims eat halal food which is um, the meat okay or the animal should i say is slaughtered in a specific way for more expertise on that let me know and i'll send you some information um diverse uh, food right across the country whether it's, whether it's chicken karahi or whether it's meat or whether it's uh, fish biryani is extremely popular Karachi biryani is uh, specifically very popular all over the uh, the country whether it's Nihari whether it's Halim whether it's Sikh kebab whether it's Chapli kebab they'll eat anything that is beautiful in this in this country and some of the writers actually just arrived as well let's have a little little say oh that's what it looks like and the other food is due to arrive as well Bismillah. Mm. Ooh, that's nice mashallah very minty and uh, it looks like a tiny bit of garlic is left in there as well so look diverse food. if you love food then you must visit Pakistan I bumped into someone earlier on earlier you must come to Karachi and have a I didn't even know what he's talking about. What is it? Matka gosh and katka gosh and cricket gosh. Then I was like, he needs to be seen, whatever this stuff is. I have absolutely no idea what it was, but it sounded great. So if you love food, come to Pakistan.
Does that sound dry? Al Darasi Yukri. You can come a cool new thing. Um. Yeah? Okay. Uh, if I'm right, um. Pinzella saw upon a ticket, the Dudri of Toki Pinzella saw upon a ticket, Panula. A Biarasha, a kilo, Amchid and a Tosa Rupai Manibia. Arzani. So if you like what you're listening to, then subscribe, share, and like and comment below as well. My name is Javier Khan, and occasionally I can be a little bit crackless as well. But look, this is part of letting your spirit play. I'll get a summer time now, see you over there. Mashallah, salad, you're all. Well, I think it's salad anyway. But they put on the market as a joker, the way it looks nice. Anyway, Oil country, Alhamdulillah, that's beautiful. How many of you love water? How many of you like to drink water? How many of you like to wash with water? How many of you like to wash your clothes with water? How many of you have access to beautiful clean water? And how many of you know that the World Health Organization has a program that clean water reaches millions of people throughout the world. Did you know water could be soft? Did you know water could be hard? Did you know water has a molecular structure? Zamzam water has a pH level of 7.9 and your blood level pH is 7.2. And did you know that water is a detoxifier? Did you know if you're drinking water at a level which is above 7.2, you're naturally detoxifying yourself? Did you know that you could treat illnesses with water? Did you know that Javier's going to be a little bit crackers sometimes, right? So look, my message to you is find out about water. And depending on where you live, Yorkshire water could be cleaner than the bottled water. Because the bottled water could be acidic. And you can test it with drop pH drops, potential hydrogen drops. My name is Javier Khan. I'm a little bit nutty. If you like what you're listening to, please share, please subscribe, please like. Please get it throughout the world as well. And keep with me on this journey because we're on the way to Islamabad, which is that way. Inshallah, the food has arrived. We have blazing hot roti. We have desi chicken. Mashallah, we have the beef. And there's the roti. And look what I have here. Mashallah, I have the dal. You only right? No, Marcus Kibiwi. Work that out. So we shouldn't get too clever too quickly. Alhamdulillah, absolutely beautiful. Let's try the sauce. Oh, it's a bit Moorish. I can taste the mint at the bottom. It's so beautiful. Watch this. You know when those people do this? And you feel like kicking them in, kicking them in the mush. Well, don't kick me in the mush. I was just copying what they're doing. Go and cook them in the mush. Mashallah, the food has been eaten. It was very nice. And if people are addicted to anything in this country, they're definitely addicted to cricket, to WhatsApp, to politics, and also to chai. So that was a total lie. Okay, they're just addicted just to tea only. See, they're all laughing on the other side of the camera. Was like a candy, right? Okay. Was like a very candy. Look at the language in Arabic. And then children they buy it. So they're just addicted to tea. They're not addicted to what's up. <laughs> and they attempted to ban tea in Pakistan. Would you believe that? That's what I was told. But I believe. Say that again. I get my words mixed up sometimes. There was a campaign where they wanted to, people to reduce the amount of consumption for tea because it, the export market went into the absolute billions. Anyway, it's more about what I'm doing right now, which is tasting the tea. Bismillah, Allah, 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 Allah. And that's beautiful.
looks like the new Mia G on the GT road in Burhan is doing its thing, mashallah. So the question arises, who drinks more tea, men or women? Anyway, that's a silly question. I've no idea. And they're all laughing now. And one of the things I love about this country is seven of us have eaten numerous amount of dishes and the bill is Two thousand seven hundred and fifty rupees, and everybody's like full, like I mean full, except me, because I eat in three parts: air, water, and food. Haha, that was another joke. So that's cost us about eight pounds. Which traveling along, imagine being on the M1 or M62, you stop off for a cup of tea, and it costs you I don't know two pounds seventy-five or three pounds, and at home it costs you about three pence. So one of the greatest things about Pakistan is it's relatively cheap. So look, wherever you're watching, please like, please subscribe, please share as well. Excuse me for the comedy act, I'm not a comedian. So that was a joke, so just laugh. And keep on watching, we're on the way to Islamabad. I have Shahzeb with me. Shahzeb, are you here? Yes, sir. MashaAllah, are they hotel? Yes, sir. 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 Shahid Dal and Shahid Paratha So, Shahid Dal and Shahid Paratha Do you know the hotel? Desi Miyaji Desi Miyaji And do you know? Miyaji Burhan Miyaji Burhan Guys, come and eat here The food is delicious And this guy will look after you, inshallah Take good care